Hey guys, it's Grace. It is 12 o'clock right now. Happy New Year. So today I wanted to do kind of like a top 10 of 2014. So I have a little list here. It is a cheat sheet for me because I don't want to forget anything. So here we go. Top 10 of 2014. So I'm going to go from like 10 to 1, you know. So number 10 is D now 2014. D now for me is like a winter youth conference thing that I had. That was really fun for me this year. It was in February. Number nine is my Hunter Hayes concert that I went to in April. And um, I had a really cool experience with that because at first I wasn't going to get to go to it. And one of my friends called me like the day before. She was like, hey, I have an extra ticket to the concert. I was like, oh my gosh, really? And she's like, yeah, you want to come? I was like, uh, yeah, sure. So she came and picked me up and our seats were at the very top of the um, arena, the very top level of any. It was a relative of her mom's fiance. Texted Alyssa's mom and was like, hey, I have an extra, we have pit passes if the girls want them. And so we got pit passes and we were front row at his concert. So that was cool. And he looked right at me. And if you, fireworks are going off everywhere. But if you know me, then you know I'm obsessed with Hunter Hayes and like I love his music and stuff. So he looked right at me and then I touched him twice. So fangirl moment there. And then I got to sing for and meet Danielle Bradbury. And I actually also met um, Shay from Dan and Shay. They were another opening act. Uh, his sister, Gabby, and we're friends like we talked Number about. eight is my Keith Urban concert, which was also in February, February 1st. And um, that was my Christmas present 2013, so last year. And um, it was in Nashville. It was for his Light the Fuse tour, and, and Little Big Town was opening. And me and my mom made a day trip out of it, you know. And if you don't know, the Nashville is the area that I'm from. I'm in Alabama right now because of my dad's job. But yeah, so that was just a really fun day. We went to the Country Music Hall of Fame, and then we went to the concert, and beforehand we ate at Hard Rock Cafe. Number seven for me is my youth group summer camp this summer. And um, camps with my youth group are just really fun. And I love my youth group, and my youth pastor, Chip, he does amazing things for my youth group. Uh, I don't think he's watching this, but if he isn't, hi. But yeah, my youth camps are just really fun. And so this summer was my first, like, summer youth but, camp. Um, we left the day after school got out, and then we stayed almost an entire week. But it was just really fun. Camp. We did, like, this night hike in a cave. He's like, it's not a cave, but it was a cave, okay? There were rocks all around me. That's a cave to me, but, okay? Um, it was a hike, and it was really scary, and I was crying the whole time, but it showed trust exercises I don't know but we just had a lot of fun games and stuff so that was fun number six for me is joining NSAI which is the writers company I'm with and um, NSAI is just a really good company to be with and they're a really good it feels like a family um, all the people there and everyone's so supportive and nice of you and so um, I went to an open mic with them eight days after I got my membership and it was on June 30th, and that was my first official open mic, and it was in Nashville. Soul Shine, it's a pizza factory there. Um, but it was just so much fun, and then I met everyone there. And I just love NSAI and all they do and how nice they are. So if you're thinking about joining them, then do it, because they're so nice, and everyone is just so helpful. Number five is my 15th birthday uh, trip to Nashville. I went to Nashville. That's what I wanted to do for my birthday when I turned 15, instead of like having a big party. I had friends over. And we watched a movie and stuff like that, and we ate dinner, but it wasn't like a big party, you know, so, but I went to Nashville, and we went to the Miranda Lambert exhibit and the Country Music Hall of Fame, it was like there, and that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to go, and then I went to, there's like a downtown store in Nashville, I was looking for a shirt, but I didn't really find it there, so, and then we went to the Opry that night, and then the next day, we um, went to breakfast, and then we, like, shopped around, and I went to my favorite store, Tennessee Chic. It's, just, like, right near Belmont and Vanderbilt Hospital and all that. So, yeah. Number four is my second Bluebird Cafe audition, and that was in July of this year. And um, that was my second time, you know, auditioning for them and stuff. And so I already knew the process, and it was cool because I saw all my friends from the first time I auditioned there. And it was kind of like a big reunion, you know. And afterwards, we went out to lunch with my cousin and her husband and then my other cousin and then we kind of just drove around some so yeah number three lucky number okay number my list keeps dropping number three is my first bluebird audition which that's like the first major audition I've had before and so that was like really cool because bluebird if you didn't know is a huge music 
venue in Nashville. It's like a smaller venue, but like the reputation it has in the, the Nashville area is huge. Um, people like Faith Hill and Keith Urban and Taylor Swift and I think Garth Brooks. Yeah, Garth Brooks and Rascal Flatts. Like all these huge names have gotten their starts there or have gotten discovered there. And so uh, that was a huge deal for me. And so I got to audition there and I was like, woohoo! So um, I was so nervous. I was like freaking out. And then me and my dad stayed in my aunt and uncle's house the night before and then we went and auditioned and I met one of my best friends which is Alyssa you may have seen her pictures on my Instagram and we met there and she may be watching this I don't know hi Alyssa but um we met there and then I auditioned and then my dad and I went to eat with my aunt afterwards and then we went around Nashville some and so that was like really cool it was it was crazy going up on that stage because that's where a bunch of the people that I look up to got their starts and I'm like well if I ever pass an audition here I may get my start here too you know and that, I don't know that was just really cool number two is starting this YouTube channel this is just so much fun for me and um a lot of people have found out about my music this way a lot of kids from school actually watch my videos which some people are like oh no I don't want kids watching my videos from school but I like it I mean because people will come up to me they're like hey your videos are good and I'm like really thanks you know like they're like I like your music and stuff so that's cool for me but this YouTube channel is like it's so much fun for me to make videos and to do covers and to do vlogs and stuff for you guys to see because it's just fun to edit them and to make them and I hope you enjoy them because I have fun making them my number one thing of this year my number one on this list is getting to stand in the Opry Circle and sing in it. I went, when I went for my birthday trip, which was number five, Saturday night we were there. And, um, it, I mean, it wasn't like a huge show. Like, there were some smaller names that performed. You know, it wasn't anyone like Keith Urban or Hunter Hayes or Lady A or anything like that. But um, Janelle Arthur performed there and Casey James, which are two of my favorites. And um, little Jimmy Dickens showed up, you know, and stuff like that. It was like really cool, you know, just going. That was my first official opera show. I'd been to the Rockettes there before, but my first official opera show. And so I went to the show, and then afterwards we had backstage tour so Once the show ended, you stayed in there if you had a backstage pass, and then they gave you a lanyard, which is actually hanging right here on a hook thingy. I'm going to try to do a room tour soon, so you'll probably be able to see my whole room and where I film and where I do everything basically. So we went backstage and we got to see all the dressing rooms and we got to sit in the family room, which it's like, it's the last place the artist goes before they perform. And so all their family and stuff sits there. And so I sat in a chair and I was like, dude, a bunch of people will probably sit here, you know, that I really look up to. And that was just really cool. Then after that, we went onto the stage and I've been dreaming about going on that stage since I was a little girl. I, um, I literally will get a hula hoop sometimes, put it in the middle of my floor, play my guitar, and sing, and pretend it's the Opry Circle. That is how much I love the Opry. And my cup I'm drinking out of is an Opry cup. Yeah. So, um, but I got to, I wanted to be in the back of the line. Because I was like, maybe they'll let me sing if I'm in the very back, you know, with no one behind me. So I got in the circle, I danced around. And then I got my picture taken, and then I asked the employee, I was like, hey, can I sing in the circle? You know, that's one of my dreams is to sing in the circle. And he was like, yeah, sure. So he yelled at my tour guide. He was like, hey, you got a singer up here. So all my tour group turned around. And I was the only child, like, minor, you know, in my tour group. So I sang the chorus of On Your Side of the Bed by Little Big Town, because if you don't know, then that song has done a lot for me and my music. And that's how a lot of people discovered me, because I put that song on soundcloud last fall and now it has over 4,500 plays that is crazy like what oh my god and then everyone clapped and then I cried I was like oh my gosh I just sang in the opera circle I've been dreaming of this since I was like nine eight seven six five four three two one and so um I sang I cried and then the guy actually gave me the um lineup from that night so that was cool like the um set list that's what it is so yeah um, those are my top 10 reasons. Thank you for watching and happy 2015. Bye. I was about to put perfume on to film the video and I was like, wait, no one's going to see me and no one's going to let you smell me. So no use in wasting perfume on camera. Duh. And so, um, I got to stop talking about my hands. Mike, and it was in Nashville at a place called Soul Shine. <laughs> I dropped my list.
I just talked in a British accent. I'm sorry if you're British and you're watching this because I have a really sucky accent. So yeah, I have a cough. Oh my gosh, there's a hair in my face right now. <coughs> <coughs> have you noticed I gag a lot of my videos? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. Happy New Year.